So only pulled is perfect if you want to focus on Instagram only. What's going on everyone? You're watching MRI TV, the place to move, groove and grow. And today is Biz Tuesday. That means I'm sharing with you guys social media marketing tips for this day and age. It is 2018. This video might not be relevant if you're watching it in 2025. So if it's your first time ever checking out any of my content, welcome, glad to have you. And if, it, if you're a subscriber and you've already checked out my stuff, welcome back. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick walkthrough of the scheduling platform that we at Vision Paradox use for a very long time. It's called OnlyPult. It's an insanely powerful scheduling platform that actually auto schedules for you because I know some of the other scheduling platforms require you to actually approve from a push notification, but this one just goes straight through whether it's either video or for uh, your photos. Uh, it lets you tag people, geolocate, um, and that's something that Later and Hootsuite just don't have. Um, even though we are going to be switching to Later, which is one of the other scheduling platforms that you can use. Just a heads up, this is not a free uh, software. Hootsuite's free and Later is free uh, for one free account uh, for with certain limitations. But only pulled, I think, right off the bat. I'm going to take a look right here. The the minimum is starting is ten dollars a month because I think this is with the intention of people who are using Instagram for marketing. So if you ha are managing more than one account and you really want to try to automate it, this is a really good way to go about it. One of the reasons that we're actually going to be switching to later is because of the flexibility in the content distribution. That's what I really love about it. So it's just really good on that and we, who knows, we might switch back to this because of how powerful this is in regards to strictly Instagram alone. So let's take a look at OnlyPult. So you log in. This is just a quick overview of what you can do. Single post, which is obviously one picture gallery, which is the swipe kind of feature that you have. Let's see, I'm not really gonna go through how you do all this because one thing that, that kind of turns me off with OnlyPult is how long it can take to upload content, particularly with video. When it comes to photos, you can schedule multiple photos at once. So this is one of the things I like right here, multiple, Let's actually just do a quick example for you guys so you see what the heck I'm talking about. Let's just pick this one random Philippines trip. So over here, my trip to the Philippines. So uh, what I like about this is that you can drag and drop literally all these photos and it'll schedule all of that for you, which is huge. This is great if you have a lot of new content that you just, that you have photo shoots, uh, micro content, so this allows you to upload a lot. I think I put too much, honestly, guys. But uh, once that's done, I'll go to the next step. And then all you've got to do, since we're here, I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth of what you can do for all these images. Uh, right now, what you're seeing is me scheduling multiple posts using OnlyPult. What you can do is you can add a general description for all of them. La, 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 la adds it to all of them, and then adds general first comment. Th this is going back into the to using hashtags in the first comment. If you haven't watched the video on you know Instagram's new policies and algorithm updates, pretty much anyone who uses hashtags in the first comment, it's not gonna be as effective as it was like a year ago. It still works for some people, but for those who overdo it and who have abused it, it's not gonna work as well. Uh, there's something called shadow banning. I recommend you guys checking that out. So if you still wanna use it, you can use that hashtag just because I don't feel like being uber creative right now and you can add that and that would be your first comment right here. Boom, which is pretty awesome and you can do that throughout all your pictures. And then here, I'm only up to the 17th and you can push okay, just push at whatever date you want. So it's pretty cool. And then just going into more hashtags. So it gives you, it gives you recommended hashtags, um, gives you emojis to work with, I, re I don't recommend doing this because if you don't want the white bars on your posts, try to go here. The more space you can take, most, so generally when it comes to Instagram, like if you put a landscape video, it'll probably just be this this much. I'm looking at myself right now. 
is if you put a landscape photo, what you want to try to do is you want to keep it square so you can actually have, take up more space because that's where the attention is. If it's your if your content is only taking up this much space, there's the rest of the com your the rest of your competition is taking up here. So try to take up as much space either through your, through your through your content. So either have a big ass picture taking up most of the screen, or if you're going to go with a small photo, uh, have a long caption so that way you ca capture the attention of your user audience or whoever's going to be taking a look at your content. So just, that's just a quick little pro tip right there. So next, I, don't, I normally don't use any filters on here. I like doing the editing myself on Photoshop. You can tag right here, this little icon. And you pick the person, that's me. You better know their Instagram profile, otherwise you're a terrible friend. <laughs> that's me, tagged, and save. You can geotag as well, boom. It's gonna, I'm just gonna say Los Angeles, because that's where I'm at. Geotag and boom. It, it covers a lot of ways of distribution uh, already, not just, you know, you share content, but you distribute it through the hashtags, through the tagging, and through the geotag, which is three basic ways of distributing your content already. So that's one, just one of the powerful ways of using all new Pult. And you can upload to your stories, so if you, have, if you have a photo that's vertical formatted, boom, you can upload it. Make sure it is actually formatted to for the phone and not for like wide uh, horizontal. Then let's see what else there is. Favorites is useful for when you have an account that's more curating. So say you're an, a meme account and all you do is share memes. Pretty much just look up, I don't know, the Quan is one of them. Search is a famous meme account. And then uh, all you've got to do is head on over here, add, add them to your favorites list so you can keep an eye on them, or you can just repost right there. And boom, all of it's right here. And save, and it'll all be automatically scheduled. The analytics tool is pretty decent. Look at that. This is when I started cleaning up my followers. I, had, I noticed that there, I had some bot followers that was really killing me in my engagement. The minute I did that, whew, Engagement was getting better. So this shows pretty much the growth, the engagement. This was, I don't know, this doesn't really tell me much. It just tells me the date optimization. Okay, so let's say you want to find the best time. By the way, Instagram Insights already does a really, really good job showing you the best time and day. Just heads up, that's a really good way of finding out, you know, your best times to post. This one right here, right off the bat, Monday at three o'clock is a good time to post or when people are most active. So what I would do is probably post 30 minutes before, you know, the hot times by days. And right down here is just the best, best hashtags to work with based off your more recent posts. Overall, as you can see, only pulp is a pretty powerful scheduling tool for Instagram and cause it allows you to do a lot of the things on, that you do on your phone, you know, but scheduled. You can geotag, you can tag, you can put the hashtags, you can add a first comment, and you can do it at scale. The only thing that you can't bulk upload is videos, and it honestly takes maybe two or three minutes for one video to upload. And the file size, when it comes to uploading content to OnlyPult, is about 35 megabytes. So that, that means you gotta compress it a lot. So if you don't know how to you know, use Adobe Premiere or, you know, even Encoder, that might be a small drawback for you. Not only that, there's no mobile app version of this software that you can use on your phone. I mean, you, you can, you can go, you can access the website, you can upload the content there straight from your phone. It gets a little glitchy, especially when you start trying to add comments. For some reason, I think I've done this on both the iPhone and Android, um, when you try to schedule a, write it down a caption, the screen just freaks out. And it goes back down to the video size issue. If you are filming something from your phone directly, that file size might, might end up being huge. And if you try to upload it and schedule it through OnlyPult, it's, gonna, it's not gonna upload because that video might be too big. So uh, that's the kind of the, the, the technical drawbacks of that. But overall, I think it's an insanely powerful tool. One thing that kind of uh, irks me as well <laughs> is the process of logging in. That's here, I'm just gonna do this straight from the beginning with Vision Paradox. Delete. Okay, so when it comes to here, first off, make sure on your phone um, that two-factor notification, I think is turned off. I think that's one of the things to ask when you add Instagram. Because this is quite a process. Instagram account is not private. Yeah, you have the email and everything. I have access. 
uh, you're logged on to this. So make sure you're logged on because you have to go through a process of that. So log on to Vision Paradox. That has free posts. Two-factor authentication disabled. All right, so let's log in. Wow, that's taking a while. What just happened? There we go. Oh, okay. So the so generally this is what happens when right after you you know check all the boxes, you input your password. You actually have to go to this account conf confirmation. You have to go on to your phone and actually push. It's me. Okay, and then done. And then it gives only full access to the account. Uh, unlike uh, Hootsuite and later, just put in your Instagram, log in, boom, you're in. So setup for this is a little bit of a hassle considering how much more power that OnlyPult has over Hootsuite, later, and a lot of the other scheduling platforms I've used. Um, it's a it's really good if you're you know super focused on Instagram alone. Overall, if you're trying to distribute to multiple platforms depending on your content strategy, um, I would say I, I personally would say try something else that gives you that kind of flexibility. Um, there's, you know, obviously you want to post content that's native to the platform, but at the same time you want to be smart with your time. So OnlyPult is perfect if you want to focus on Instagram only because it allows you to schedule multiple posts immediately, uh, manage a lot of accounts, geotag, tag, hashtag, auto schedule stories, which at this moment in time, I don't think there's any scheduling platform that has that. So that's it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and walkthrough of how to use OnlyPult. Uh, for yourself and how powerful it is. Let me know if you guys got any questions or if you guys have any scheduling platforms that you use yourself. I'd love to hear what you use. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.